Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. First of all, let's create new null object. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pen behind icon. Clusation tool, select this null, change name, controller. Select this controller, and move to send to body layer select this body let's link to controller select hand 2 and hand 1 layers go to solo select hand layer 1 and move to anchor point up select hand 2 move to anchor point up also and clusation tool select hand 1 and hand 2 Unsolo and link to controller. Select controller. Let's see. Okay. Select this eye brown, eye close, eye ball, and eye white. Link to body. Select body. Okay. And don't forget to link to mouth layer also body. Select this eye close. Let's enable layer and go to two keyframes. For shortcut, you can use page down in keyboard, one, two, and go to edit, split layer or control shift D, delete, select eye close, let's zoom in to layers and move to right, let's see, okay, this very fast, let's select this chain duration for layer, okay. Select this eye close, Ctrl D for duplicate and move to right. Move to right more. And let's Ctrl D again, move to right. Again Ctrl D for more eye blink animation. Let's animation. Okay, pretty good. So, in this time select this eyeball and press P, make new passing keyframe. Let's zoom into eyeball and go to two keyframes, one, two, and move to down and go to here and create new passing keyframe, go to two keyframes, move to center and let's see. Okay, say keyframes, move to here and these keyframes move to behind eye blink animation. Nice. And go to here, again let's create new keyframe, go to two keyframes, move to left, select keyframes, move to behind eye blink layer, okay and go to here, again let's create new keyframe, go to two keyframes, move to down, and next keyframe, create new passing keyframe, go to two keyframes, and move to down. Select two frames, move to behind, I close layer. Okay. So again say Q frames. Let's copy and control V for paste. And select this shoe frame, copy and go to last shoe frame. Control V for paste. Nice, and say Q frame, move to here, and this move to here, and let's Q frames. Okay, not bad. So, in this time, select this muff layer, and go to solo, select anchor point, and move to here, clusation tool and go to first second, press S and and click this icon let's hold ALT click time icon open expression and right here we go 1, 6 let's see ok let's change 6 to 12 for more speed animation ok and this Let's we'll change 20. 
Okay, let's unsolo. Not bad. So, in this same, select this layer body and press S, click this icon and make sketch frame go to 10 Q frames. Let's click time duration, write plus 10, click OK and change scale 34 or 33. Go to 10 Q frames again. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down and select first Q frame, copy pass. Say Q frames make easies or click F9. And for loop endless animation, hold Alt, click time icon, go to play button, property, and loop out duration. And click this input area for down expression. Let's see. Nice. And select this body, press R, open rotation, and let's hold Alt, again click time icon for open expression. And right here, wiggle 1, 7. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So, in this time, select this hand 1 and hand 2. Go to first second, press R, open rotation. And let's hold Alt, click time icon for write expression. And let's write wiggle 1, 9. Let's see. Okay, let's edit this and write 2. Nice, and let's copy this expression. And close hand 1, select hand 2, hold Alt, click time icon, Control V4, paste, change 9 to 10. Let's see. Nice. And in this time, select this controller, go to first second. Let's press P, make new pass in Q frame and move to behind to scene. Okay, go to 6 second and move to left. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So, in this time, go to 10 Q frames, move to up, go to again 10 Q frames, move to down, again 10 Q frames, move to up, again move to down. And again for these two frames. Okay, let's see. Nice, we're good. So, in this time, let's create shadow. Let's go to middle and go to shape layers. Hold this icon. Let's create ellipse tool and make one ellipse here. Clearization tool, chain stroke with zero. Go to fill. Select this eyedropper icon and select color here and change to dark. And click OK. Select this shape layer, change name shadow. And select this shadow, go to first second. Let's press P, move to right. And make new passing Q frame. Go to here and let's move to left. And go to next Q frame, move to left also. Okay, and select middle Q frame, delete. Nice, select Q frame, move to left, move to right. Nice, move to right this Q frame for shadow. Okay, so finally select this shadow layer, move to behind all these character layers. Very nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.